Well, we've done a few of these over the last 18 months or so, but none of the games that we have stood here for before have had the crackle like there is at Twickenham today. We don't yet know the specific scenario that England have to play to, but we do know they have to win today by 16 to overtake Wales once again. And you're up for it. You are very confident that England, if they have a big target to go for, it almost adds a bit of clarity. Why? Absolutely. Well, there's no uncertainty as to what they've got to do. They've got to give the ball a lash. They've got to use the wide man. They've got to add some tempo into it. We know they've got a good scrum. We know they've got a good lineup and a defence. But this back line really needs to be tested today. Go out there, enjoy the game. Big men like Billy Van Apola, mixed in with the backs, can go out and express themselves. They look very, very relaxed, England. I just want to talk leadership with you as well. Jeff Parling starts, Nick Easter onto the bench, Dan Cole earns his 50th cap today. When you talk about leadership and how important it is in these games, how does it manifest itself? Well, it's not all necessarily about what you say, it's about what you do in terms of your job. Go out there and deliver your job to the best of your ability. If you're a goal kicker, George Ford, kick your goals. If you're a decision maker, make your decision. If your job is just to make tackles and hit one, go out and do that, the rest of the team will follow. You played in this fixture six years ago when England won 34-10. I think that's the biggest win in recent years against the French. You're a confident guy. I know you back England. Why do you believe it's going to come good today? Well, you see the evolution of the team for the last 18 months. I mean, in terms of their foundation, defence, scrum, we've spoken about that. But equally, with the firepower and the starters, the likes of Jonathan Joseph, Mike Brown, Anthony Watson, we've got a foundation. You can hear the crowd. We've got the crowd who are the 16th men. It's about the nearly men. We've finished third, second the last three years. Today is the time that we deliver. It's absolutely buzzing. As Hugo says, for the first time in 20 years, England have the opportunity to lift the Six Nations trophy on home soil. It's going to be fantastic. And we'll have the full story for you on O2 Inside Line tomorrow.